In this video, we are going to deploy a Kotlin Spring Boot project to Google App Engine. Although App Engine is not the most affordable Google Cloud product, it's relatively straightforward to get your project up and running. You can find the source code and the website URLs we used in the video description below. And if you want to support the channel, please like the video or uh, consider subscribing. Thank you. We are going to start by creating a new Spring Boot project using uh, Spring Initializer. Just search for Spring Initializer on Google. And in here, I usually use uh, Gradle as my build tool, but for this project, I'm going to use Maven. And that is because um, uh, we will need to use an App Engine plugin and the App Engine Maven plugin is easier to use and better documented than the Gradle version. So Maven in here, just uh, we usually use Kotlin for the on this channel. And in here, artifact name, let's call it boot dash app engine, packaging as a jar. And for Java version, App Engine supports Java version 8, 11, and 17. So don't pick a 19. We will use 17 because it's the most uh, recent one we can use. And for, uh, de for uh, dependencies, we are going to add web because our project will be, uh, we'll just have a REST uh, controller. And uh, now uh, we just need to generate this um, this project and it will ask us to download it as a zip file like that now we can uh, extract the archive and we can open it in um, intellij idea community edition this uh, idea community edition is free you can download it so in here it's called uh, Think. So this one, boot app engine, click open. I skipped ahead a few seconds for letting uh, IntelliJ index the project. And uh, now we're going to navigate to source main, Kotlin, and our main file in here. And uh, we are going to add uh, our controller. Let's just call it class main controller. We need to annotate it with the um, REST controller. And in here, we're going to have a function index. And uh, let's add a request parameter for this function. So we will provide the name, um, our name to the function as a parameter. So this one, we can, it, it's an optional pair. It's an optional request parameter, so we can make it uh, nullable. And um, now, uh, we just return um, we return string format so it will be hello and uh, then our name so this will be name and if name is not uh, present we use this elvis operator and we'll just say hello guest so if we provide our name let's say vlad it will say hello vlad otherwise it will say uh, hello guest if it's not available and now we just need to add the uh, get mapping for our function and this one will be to the index of our server and now we just click the uh, this triangle in here and that will start our project create a run configuration and start the project okay it says right here started so if, if we navigate to localhost 8080 it will say hello guest and if we provide a name it will replace guest with uh, our name next we will focus on the google cloud side so we're, we're opening the google cloud console so console.cloud.google.com and uh, we will create a new project in here so from this project selector drop down menu we click on new project um, yeah, the, we don't need to set a name. We're just going to use this ID that was generated. So it will be peerless rock and a number. We click on create and it will take a few seconds for the project to be created. 
and uh, we select this project if you if you don't have this select project you can click on the drop down menu and select the newly created project and uh, we also need to make sure we have billing enabled for our new project because app engine will need it so we search in uh, bar billing again so this this sends us to the billing page and I think in here in uh, account management it lists all the projects that have uh, billing enabled and make sure you have the new project we created. In my case it was this one Peerless Rock 368818. Now we need to enable App Engine or our new project so in the search bar again we search for App Engine. And uh, in here, we need to click on Create Application. So we can choose the location that is most convenient to us. I'm going to choose uh, US West 4 because it's my uh, local data center. Click on Next. The spinner took about one minute to complete, but um, after it finished, we landed on this page, which means that our App Engine project is initialized. And uh, next, we are going to work on transferring the Spring Boot application to App Engine. And uh, for this, we are going to use the Maven plugin for App Engine. So if we search App Engine Maven plugin, we will uh, uh, find this page from uh, Google Cloud. And uh, there are some prerequisites for um, using this plugin. First, we need to have Maven version 3.5. So I'm, I have this terminal window in um, the, the same directory as the project. So we can check the Maven version. I have uh, 384, which is good. There are instructions on how to install Maven if you don't have it. Then um, we need the G Cloud command line interface in the terminal. Again, there are instructions on how to install it. Once you have that, we need um, this uh, component for App Engine, for App Engine Java. And I think I, yeah, I already have it installed. And uh, once we have all these prerequisites in order, we can um, add the Maven plugin to our palm.xml file. So we copy this um, section from here and we go to palm.xml in, in our project in IntelliJ and you have to look for the build section and um, then inside the build section there's a section called plugins and we just copy the App Engine plugin and also we need to add a app.yaml to configure our application and um, this one needs to be in source main and then in a directory called app engine and then app.yaml and uh, the minimum um, configuration we need to specify in here is just the runtime so i think runtime java 17 yeah java 17 we used and uh, th there are uh, many options for app.yaml. If you search for app.yaml reference, you will see here all the things that can be configured. We can specify the machine types we want for App Engine, how the autoscaler needs to behave, what paths we have in our app, etc. But for now, we're just going to use the, this basic app.yaml. And after we created the app.yaml, we can um, run this uh, package and app engine deploy from the, um, uh, from the terminal. And uh, we need to fill in here our project ID. So we need to, from, um, we go back to Google Cloud Console and we need to copy this uh, generated ID for our project. So we just fill it in in, um, in here in the UI. And if we copy this command in here, we can now run it 
in the terminal Yeah, so it encountered a version. I think uh, there's a problem with the Google Cloud Guide. They missed um, to add the app version. So in here, uh, we will pass it as a, a second um, uh, property in um, Maven command. So the name of the uh, property would be app deploy and version. So app.deploy that version and now uh, we can give it a version name like version one this can allow us to have multiple versions of the same project running in parallel the maven command took uh, about one two minutes to complete but um, we can see here that it finished successfully it says build successful there's this command that we can uh, check out the logs of our uh, server and also a URL to the to the API that was just deployed. And if we open it, we see that it says um, hello guest. And of course, if we pass a query param, it will uh, update the message. If we go to if we go back to the Google Cloud Console in here and we click on App Engine Dashboard, we will see charts with the number of uh, requests that were sent also here uh, a summary of uh, how much our deployment costs uh, so far so the cost is um, five cents per hour which is not the cheapest uh, product and uh, yeah actually if we search for um, app engine pricing we will find this table with the price per instance type by default, if we don't specify what instance type we want, I think uh, we get F1, which is uh, five and a half cents per hour. So if we multiply 0 0.055 times 24 hours, it's $1.32 per day. So in a month, it will be almost $40, which is um, not the cheapest. So if you're not using this um, app engine deployment that we just did, if you don't need it right now, I would recommend that you disable it, which is uh, exactly what I'm uh, going to do. So in here, uh, we go to settings and uh, click on disa disable application. So here we need to type in this uh, name. So peerless rock. 368818 disable and uh, if we go to instances yeah we see that we no longer have any instances they were uh, erased because we disabled the app this is all the material we have for today there are more spring boot and google cloud videos on this channel and uh, some of them will show up on the screen thank you for watching